it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House, a little place to find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. It's a chilly rainy day here at our little farmhouse on the northern plains of Iowa and we just finished a really good day of homeschooling and just wanting to make our evening here at home comforting and cozy. I'll be lighting candles, unboxing special gifts from dear friends, making a warm cup of mountain tea, and then on the menu tonight is warm basmati rice with dried cherries, almonds and toasted coconut, along with roasted asparagus and creamy cucumbers with dill. So I'm really glad you're here with me today and joining me for a cozy rainy day at home. So now that our little homeschool room is quiet and ready for tomorrow's lessons, I decided to sit down, relax, and look at these beautiful gifts that were sent to me from Sweet Angie from the Bumblebee Farmhouse and Sue Lutz, another dear subscriber. I can't thank you both enough. The simple act of giving a gift and receiving a gift from another, not just on birthdays or other special holidays, that's nice too, but just... When it's out of the blue, out of nowhere, that's what makes gift giving the most special and magical. And I will absolutely treasure these forever. So now it's time to make a cozy dinner for my family on this chilly rainy night. It's been so cold and windy this spring. I know it has been for a lot of you. I haven't even had a chance to get out in the garden. So I'm looking forward to those warm and brighter days 
when I can get into our own garden and grow our own herbs and homegrown vegetables. But tonight, like I said, I'm making a delicious fruit and nut basmati rice dish. And I have asparagus that needs to be cooked. Just a nice overall healthy vegetarian meal tonight. For some reason, when it rains, I get in the mood to just get in the kitchen and bake or cook something that's warm and comforting. And then I'll crash when bedtime comes. So I'm gonna take some time to chop my onions and garlic for the rice not going to rush through that's why i started dinner a little early so i can do just that and then i'll move on to making the creamy cucumbers with dill Thank you. 